my first tip will be about communicating. So any issues that you are having, be that anxiety, depression, you're feeling a bit, a bit down, a bit, a bit, a bit low, you know, communicate these issues and problems to people in and around you, be that a work colleague, a friend, a relative, someone close to you, or someone even you know, you've not met before. You could pick up the phone and get help from the Samaritans and these kind of organisations. But the key is to communicate what problems you're having. Our second tip for, for Blue Monday will be to take some time to yourself and do some things that you enjoy. You know, for myself, I, I like going for a little walk around the park, you know, seeing how, how nature's changing with, with the seasons, see things, what's going on. I enjoy sports, obviously being from St. Helens, a big uh, rugby league fan. So the season's not quite started yet. But, you know, as, as we won last year, you know, I like to watch the grand final again and, and just uh, relive them moments, relive them, them happy times I had when I was watching that game and my team won. You know, or go for a walk in the park, like I say, or just do anything that you enjoy, sitting down reading. Just take some time to, your, to yourself. My third tip for Blue Monday, will be to, to eat well, you know, and obviously even myself included, maybe dropped off a little bit over Christmas period, enjoyed myself, enjoyed my, my pigs in blankets and uh, Christmas pudding and all the rest of it. But, you know, for me now, I'm, I'm back on the um, roller coaster, as we say, of looking after myself, eating right, eating healthfully, you know, whatever we put into our body, you know, is what how productive the body can be uh, moving forward. That's mentally um, and physically. Our fourth top tip for Blue Monday, but to be to get plenty of rest. Now, it's recommended that we get eight hours sleep um, a night, you know, and if we can do this, then the mind is fully rested and the body is fully rested. It means it can be more per more productive and help us move forward. So, you know, try and get some rest. You know, you're watching Netflix and you get caught up in the episode, you want to know what's happening next, but, you know, have a, have a cut-off point, maybe, you know, half past 10, 11 o'clock, think, right, I need to turn that off, turn your social media devices off, put your phone down or you know, get some rest your eyes can really get really irritable watching the, the screen all the time and you just need to switch off from all that and, and try and get a good eight hours sleep in to make your body and your mind more productive moving forward. My fifth and final tip for Blue Monday would be to stay active. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's dark outside night time when you get home from work, it's probably dark, you feel, don't feel like going out and about and being active, but you can actually do that in work. You know, get up from your desk, have a little time away from your computer on your lunch break, maybe use the stairs rather than use the lift. You know, go out for lunch, maybe get a takeaway coffee and have a little walk around at lunchtime, but keeping it, keep it active, you know, keeps us, keeps us going, just enjoying this time when it is a bit dark in the evening and you can get a little bit depressed, you know, by going for a walk and, and just keeping yourself active, your mind um, and your body.